Hey guys, my name's Alex and Mr. Milesbar, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install CJB mods for Minecraft. Um, I know a lot of people have, you know, trouble doing this, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it today, so just follow along, um, listen to what I'll say, and you should be good. Uh, this tutorial is, well, should work, cause it works for me, so if you've got any comments um, or problems, please put them in the comments, and uh, I'll reply to them, because I'm always on YouTube, so yeah, cheers guys. Um, all the cooperation is, you know, I really like it, like the video if it helps. But yeah, we'll get straight into this, guys, so the first step is to full start your Minecraft, so open up Minecraft, click options, force update, done, then click login. And basically what this is going to do is get rid of any mod mods you've got installed. Um, it won't get rid of your saved worlds uh, or texture packs um, or your saved servers actually. It won't get rid of that. It'll just get rid of any mods that are installed. Um, there you go. See it's done. Did it pretty quick. Uh, so now you can close that down. Uh, now second step, open up your web browser, type in CJB mods. There we go. And it's the first link, CJB Mods. Um, there you go, you're on the site. Uh, Minecraft Forums, if you want to type it in the Minecraft Forums, you go ahead and do that. Um, you basically just want to get to this page. I'll put a link in the description, guys, so if you guys want to just click on that, then uh, you're good to go. Click on CJB Mods for 1.1, and it will download it to wherever your browser downloads files. Uh, if you're on 1.0, obviously click 1.0, but do not click this big download button, because that is something else. Just don't click it. Don't click it. Um, then click on Mod Loader underneath CJB Mods for 1.1. Scroll down quite a bit until you see mod loader 1.1 and click download direct. Don't click add fly, just click direct and you should be good. That It'll download it to wherever your browser saves things. Um, there you go guys, you've downloaded the files. Well done. Uh, that was the easy part. <laughs> now it gets to the tricky bit. So you've got mod loader and CJB mods right here. Pretty easy to do, right? Yeah, self-explanatory, you got that so far? Good. Right, second bit. If you're in Windows 7 or Vista, it's a lot easier for you guys if you're in 7 or Vista, Windows. Um, just go to start and when you search tap in percent app data percent and then you get a roaming folder like this open that up and you'll get dot minecraft if you're in xp go to run um runs this i don't actually know how to get to it in um in xp but you guys should uh, and then just type percent app data percent in here and click ok and you'll get straight to the same folder uh, so there you go guys your worries are over now um so that's your xp guys uh, so then once you're in here, click on your Minecraft folder. Now this is basically where your mods and screenshots and everything that makes Minecraft work is in here. Um, so guys, don't worry, you can easily reinstall Minecraft if you do something wrong. Um, so yeah, don't worry guys, we're only trying to install a mod, just calm down. Right, so if the first thing you want to do once you're in the .minecraft folder is click on bin. Right, you're in bin, yeah. And you'll have a folder called Minecraft. You have a, you may have not a folder, sorry, you'll have an executable jar called Minecraft. You'll have an executable jar called one point one and you'll have an executable jar called one point zero point zero. if you don't don't worry, but if you do delete them, um just save the Minecraft one, you need that one. But if you've got one that says one point zero zero or one point one, delete those, you don't need them, they're like obsolete if you like. Uh, so what you're gonna do once you've deleted those, right click on this one, the one that just says Minecraft, open with WinRAR Archive, and then the yeah, MetaInt folder, click on it, and then click delete. Click yes. There you go, done. Then you see you've got a folder called mod loader you downloaded, which is the WinRAR. I'll put a link to WinRAR in the description, guys, it's just a lightweight um piece of software where you can, you know, um unzip things. You guys should know what that is. I'll put a link to it in the description. But yeah, open up your mod load loader. Mod loader? Loader. Um copy all the stuff inside, except from the folder at the top, make sure you don't copy that. And drag it into the Minecraft.jar. Now guys click OK, yeah, obviously, but make sure you don't drag it in over one of the folders. Um just drag it into here. Then you're done. Close that down and close the uh mod loader down, then that's pretty much done. You can go ahead and delete that now. Now at CJB mods, you want to go into open that um up and then go into Put in Minecraft.jar, open back up your Minecraft.jar, open with WinRAR Archive, and then drag these four files into here. Bear in mind, guys, not to select the top folder because otherwise that'll um, obviously won't work. Um, so select, select your files and drag them in here. Remember, guys, to not drag them over a folder otherwise it won't work. Um, yeah, just don't drag it over a folder otherwise. I don't think it'll work. No, it won't. Right, okay. And then click on the two dots to go back, and then click in Put in Minecraft.folder. Put in Minecraft folder. Wait, I'll go a bit slower, guys. Right. So you've just put in your Minecraft jar. You've put these four files in, yeah. Right. Then go back and then click put in Minecraft folder. You see, they've got these two folders called Mods Resources. This is your Minecraft folder. This bit here. So go back. This is your Minecraft folder, yeah. Don't get that confused with this. No, it's this. This is the Minecraft folder. Dot Minecraft is the Minecraft folder, yeah. And then click. Well, obviously highlight these two Mods and Resources. Drag them into here. Not over a folder. Into here. 
yes, yes, yeah, move and replace, yes, move and replace, move and replace, and you're done. There you go. CJB Mods is installed, guys, and I'll just show you that it is installed. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I, sh I will show you this installed. Right, there you go, I'll start Minecraft. There you go, if you get a black screen, guys, just follow the process again. You're going to have to re uh, force start your Minecraft, just follow the process again if you get a black screen. Um, but you shouldn't do. I'll show you one of my worlds, redstone, select world. And there you go. My fly keys are all working and CJB mods is working, hopefully. There we go. Up to date. Yay. So yeah, the source seems to be working, guys. If you've got any problems, please leave um, me a message in the description and I will get back to you ASAP. Um, pretty much like as soon as you um, leave the message, I'll get back to you. So hope the tutorial helped, guys. And uh, yeah, peace out.